Okay. I don't know how to say this artist's name or his motherfucking number because that's what it is. It's 6608XI. But on some real stuff, it's just a guy, a white guy, holding uh, a motherfucking knife with uh, a motherfucking watermelon. And he's stabbing it. I don't know why, but there is something uh, hypothetically racist about that. My hypothetical answer is that he hates watermelons and that he will destroy all of their race. But just know that everybody needs to watch more of motherfucking uh, 880XI. I don't know why, but a lot of people have been doing reactions to this song, so I'm just going to watch it. But I'm going to smoke first, and then we're going to watch the shit out of it. Hands a dragoon or time. All right, let's watch the shit. some glitch hop like dubstep type like guitar mashup just like it's just like the most weird mishmash of music I've ever heard but I like it in another language I have no idea but I love it it's just, this is even this makes it even better I love it it's just a It should be like a rock opera to this and it should just be like a bunch of bums like playing like guitars like terribly drunkenly and like this could be like like just like pure instrumentation but just with just like real people just like I can imagine this and then you could have like some guy yelling while like I don't know like some guys running through the alley from the police or something and I don't know it'd be a, a convincing ass play it'd be I love it I feel like I'm being sucked into a vortex. See, like, when he gets this cadence going, like, I just think of, like, somebody's, like, uh, motherfucking, uh, their, uh, national anthem getting chopped up and, like, mashed up into this weird-ass fucking mix of a beautiful-ass song. I love it. Just I thought they're changing up the drum kit, but it's still like it's still just a strange track.
for sampling. I love that shit. In my opinion, I've always been a fan of sampling, always been an advocate, always felt like there's so much more potential for it. Is that Anthony Fantano? Because Fantano will be making motherfucking Lil Yachty cry. It's funny as hell, shit. Copyright is kind of standing in the way of that. I would say the song Power is a great example of the, the, the artistry that sampling music can offer if the artist is freely allowed to do so. And there are other tracks that surprisingly... Oh, this song should have a little darky in it. It'd be amazing. All out of my home, He's like singing about like his motherfucking melon and asking him, can it, can it, can it give him one more chance? What the fuck? Oh, melon, give it one more So, like it should be just a bunch of bums because they can all have like melons now and like 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 they like crashed into like you know like a melon stand or something and like like he's like still trying to get away but like he's using like the melons and like they got melons now and they're just making songs about melons and yeah, this is the melon scene shit. <laughs> This song is explosive as fuck. I feel like I'm listening to noise. the longest song ever you guys this was the longest video on the go ham show no it wasn't but on some real shit in a moment this was 6608 xi maybe because it took over 600 fucking seconds to do this fucking fucking video i'm gonna get the fuck out of here you guys this is this is dj go ham this was mdtf i'm off